I thought about it and was like, I don't want something that's limiting because oh, okay. I am a creative, a very creative person. And using the name Beat Craft means moving forward, means everything that I'm going to be doing will be beat. beat but yeah. I don't okay. want it like that. I actually am more into handmade than just beats. Oh, okay. So I was just thinking about it, thinking about it. And I think one day we had a family meeting to think about my business name. Wow. That's how supportive my that's, family that's is. We, we just were like, what name should we give this business? And then this one will bring a suggestion, this one. And then finally we're all like, What's about a good day? Everybody was like, what's about a good day? What's about a good day? I was like, then that's it. That's how it feels. That's it. So we are going with a good day. Also, I didn't go with Beat Crafts because I think I just Googled it and I saw another company having with the name Beat oh, Crafts. And I was like, I, I don't, don't want, want to come trouble. Trouble. Yes, <laughs> with anybody. So that, that was how the good day came about. And funny enough, I've still seen other brands bearing their good day name, but I, some way, wow. somehow, I feel connected to that name. Yes. So I'm keeping it, and it's not the same thing. This is a good day, but yes. Nana, that's yes. the difference. And about your logo, you said there's a story behind it. I really want yes. to find out. Okay, so starting off, you know when you are starting off with anything, you you tell yourself, I want everything to be in order before yes. you start. Actually, that just fear, but that's what I told <laughs> myself. I told myself, okay, now that I have a brand name, I need a logo to start before I will start. That's what I told myself. And so I kept contacting people. One guy said he was going to charge 50 CDs. I was like, oh, okay, yes. I can afford. Charge. I can afford 50 CDs. So bring bring the samples. He brought one sample after the other after the other. I, I just didn't like oh, okay. any of the ones he sent. And then I was like, okay, let me contact another person. I contacted another guy and he was like, <clears throat> sis, I will charge 500 CDs. I was like, huh? From 50 CDs to 500 CDs. 500 CDs. But you think if I have 500 CDs, I would want to do a logo with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to buy beats, my guy. Because I didn't have anything, nothing to start the business with. I don't know why I was even looking for somebody to make my logo for me. So after that 500 CDs saga, I was like, you know what, Nana, you can do this. Yes, you, you can. can do this. I can do my own logo. So I sat down, Googled apps that I can use to create the logo. I came across one. It didn't look like it had much to offer, but you know, when you're creative, you work with what you have. have, what you have. <laughs> so I just sat down. It took me quite some time. And at that time, I had time because I was going through a heartbreak. So Ooh, I had a lot of time. Juices yes, your time. Yes, time. Everything was. I just had to place. pump everything in there. And then I came up with a logo. It had. A lot of colors but i didn't mind yeah and that's how the video by the logo came up but we'll be changing that in a while because oh. now the brand has grown yes and i want something that reflects the what we do more okay. so all right all right all right so um let's get into the finances you just mentioned that you didn't have anything at all yes so then how did you start the business how did uh, was it difficult financing the business <laughs> In the beginning, it wasn't because I wasn't making, mm, how do I call it? Let's say items in bulk. Oh, okay. I was, my business model is kind of you order and then we make oh, for you. Okay. So, so to start, I didn't really need much. That's the thing. To start with beats in general, you don't need much. So I just had to take care of my logo and then like I told you, I was making samples over the years. Yeah. I learned bead making in 2014, started my business in 2017, so I had a lot of samples. Yes. I just had to take pictures of them and then post, and I was financing it with my personal money, money that my daddy would give to me to eat. Oh, That's why I started it. Small. <laughs> yes, I, don't, I didn't mind going hungry in order to finance the business, so that's how I started. So your parents didn't push some small money into the business? No, they didn't. Wow, so all of this is just you. Yes, you know, this <laughs> Yes, but then but then they know they know it's the money that they give me that I'm using, so indirectly it's coming from, from them. them. Yes. All right. Um, you are a student. You're still technically still a student. I know because of the COVID things have been like we discussed earlier backstage that you're <laughs> hanging small. <laughs> we are somewhere in the middle. All right. But then how is it how was it like combining your business with school and was it difficult? Yep. And are you going to quit school or quit a good year? Are you going to combine it? 
I'm neither going to quit school nor a good year. Okay. But it was stressful. Everybody who has been to pharmacy school knows how demanding and stressful it is. It's it's literally takes up all your time. My school schedule was from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Every day. Every day. Wow. Every day. And even after school, you have reports to write, you have assignments, assignments. to do, yeah. so many things. So in the beginning, it, it was it's still been difficult. I I even thought of starting a good year after school, but six years is too long yes. to start something that doesn't make you sleep, something that you are passionate about. So I started in my second year and it was a struggle juggling the two, but we did it because you just need to know the vision that you have. I'm not aiming to be the valedictorian, so I mean, well, I study a little, I work a little, I, work a little. I, start, I make sure I struggle. Okay, I've been dying to ask you this. I actually saw it on Twitter. I think a friend tweeted, and it was Tracy Success talking mm -hmm. about your business. I think she featured she features me mm -hmm. or something. How did that come about? Because when I saw it, I was very excited. <laughs> That is the highlight of my year. So I met Tracy when she came for a program at KNUSD. She was on with Gifty Auntie and another lady, I forgot her name. So during the program, she actually talked about wanting to start a project to help female, young female entrepreneurs called Project Brave. And during the question and answer session, I I, I asked the question about it and she was like, oh, it's in the work, so we're coming soon. So after that, we, we the program ended and then I went on IG and I sent her a DM. I was like, Tracy, this is the lady who asked you the question uh -huh. about Project Brave, blah, blah, blah. I'd want to be a part of it. So whenever it launches, kindly you do well to let me know or something like that. And she was like, okay, fine. She responded. Yeah, she did. Wow. She's actually a very nice and humble lady. So she responded and that was it. And I think she, she followed me on IG wow. and then that was it. That, so she had she has been seeing my posts, she has been liking them okay. and all of that. And then recent that was somewhere last year. Recently I received a DM from her so unexpected that she wants to purchase a bag. Wow. I was in shock. Wow. When I came back to my senses, I was just jumping in my house. Like, Tracy wants to order. Tracy wants to, she's she's cool. Cool. Tracy wants to order. And then we went through the process. She was like, she wants this, that. We just went through. She wanted a custom bag. Yes, oh, a, okay. a beaded pearl bag that I was selling at the time. And I was like, why not? Why not? <laughs> if you want it, I'll even give it to you for free. Yeah, but like, yes, the, it's huge. And that, that was how that was how she purchased it for me. She paid people. People, I think people get it wrong. You think it was actually oh, a okay. gift, PR, yeah. But she actually paid for the bag, wow. and then she had it. And I was surprised when she also came all out to advertise me and my brand. I was like, Mama, you did too much. Well, she obviously liked the product. Yes, she did. She did. Because when did. I saw, I was really excited. I was like, wow, because this is a. She has a huge platform. Yes. So her putting you on there will blow your business. And up. since then, I think business has picked up so fast. Wow. And That's I have amazing. paid publicity. It's Tracy, if I know you will definitely watch <laughs> this. So I just want to say thank you very much for helping me and my brand. This young female entrepreneur is so grateful. Thank you. All right. Um, let's move away and talk a bit about support. Do you have friends that constantly support you, or do you think maybe your friends are not supporting you enough? <sighs> My friends are supportive. I'd say I have, I have received amazing support from my friends. You know, there's this thing going around where young entrepreneurs say your own your own friends not support you yeah. they're always asking for free and yes. do this do that but i think my friends pay my friends pay when they purchase normal price uh, we have friends, friends and, and family, family discounts, discounts. <laughs> <laughs> we have friends and family discounts but then they have been supported in the beginning i wasn't seeing the support so yeah. much yeah. but i think it, it just boils down to when people do not see the vision. When you yeah, start, people are like, true. she wants to get into beats. Everybody's doing beats. Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay, she's going to do the same thing everybody's doing. But as time goes on and they see the vision that you have for your brand, they also follow, they yeah. tag along, and then they also 
be into that vision and you're like oh she's going somewhere she's she's going to be huge yes. so let me just support it and i think every entrepreneur should bear that in mind do not worry if your friends or your family do not support you actually they will come along when they see yeah. where you are headed That's just true. put in the work put in the work give them a reason to support you okay okay thank you so much um i have one question before we wrap up mm -hmm. let us know some of your products and uh like maybe do you do earrings do you do bags and how much they are or maybe a price range okay so we know how much we should bring if you're coming to purchase from you mm, i'm quite affordable very affordable uh, i'm not rich expensive not yet okay. <laughs> we'll get there soon so i'll ask you to purchase now but we do we i would say we do everything from the brand is a handmade jewelry and accessory brand. So ranging from necklaces to earrings to anklets to bags okay. to what else? Bracelets. Okay, so let's say your earring that you're wearing today. You made it, right? Yes, I did last night. Last night. Okay, so how much would you say you go for? Mm, I do not want to mention a price here because most of the orders are custom orders i oh, also okay. take custom orders so you could actually bring just an idea and then i'll create that for you so the price okay. will be different or the price will vary but i think okay. when as low as 20 cities you can actually get an video product wow very high quality wow wow that's very good that's very affordable like very <laughs> affordable with as low as 20 cities as low as 20 cities all right so um can we show your bag once again before? oh yes you can so this is a little product it's very i thought it would be dainty but it's actually very durable it's <laughs> very durable it's called a simmer bag there you go and it has your oh yes. okay i didn't even notice this so it has a goodyear here so you know the brand you're purchasing from all right i lied one more question before we wrap up this one i'm sure many people will be interested why in am i scared are you dating <laughs> <laughs> if this question had it appeared i'd have been surprised oh. <laughs> why are you dating no currently is somebody dating you no that somebody think they're dating you no that was an interesting session with a good year by nana find her on instagram at a good year underscore by nana and we are going to move into our next session and she is going to have a little activity with jackie over to you jacqueline thank you safwa that was a really interesting interview segment with nana jim for a good year by nana i am jackie and we are going to play a very interesting game with a good year by Nana and the game is called the five second rule so the rules for the game is we just have five seconds to mention three things in the category that Safwa will mention to us so let's just get right into it hi Nana Jinfua hi Jackie so I'm sure you had a really wonderful time with Safwa it was interesting I'm very sure so we are going to play the five second rule game are you ready for it uh, not quite, but we'll do it. Why? Wow, we'll do it. I don't know. I'm nervous about the game. Oh, don't be nervous. I know myself. I'll lose. I'm, <laughs> I've lost before on the channel. So don't worry about it. It will be very easy. I know Safwa will win Okay. We'll we be we fine. So. <laughs> we'll be fine. So let's just get right into the game. Jacqueline, name three planets. Go. Mars, Neptune, Pluto. Okay. <laughs> Nana Jemfua, name three things you do when no one is looking. Go. Singing, acting, dancing. Okay. <laughs> Jacqueline, your <laughs> turn. <laughs> Jacqueline, name three things you do before you go to bed. Go. I remove my bra, I remove my shoes, <laughs> and I put hands up. <laughs> Nana de Four, name three things you find in the fridge. Go. Grocery, milk, drinks. Okay. Ooh. I will not accept this. <laughs> Groceries <laughs> okay. and milk and drinks are all in one. No! No! <laughs> Drink become a... <laughs> then groceries and milk is the same. <laughs> Please, take groceries as vegetables. <laughs> no, no. Jacqueline, name three famous people. Go. Stephen Apia. Mike Lessian and Ivan Nelson. Then I do four. Name three things you find in a purse. Go. 
Lipstick, mirror, money, a. Hey. The color I just like, <laughs> just like. Okay, so the last question, last oh, one. I still want to do this. <laughs> Name three brands of cars. Go. <laughs> Corolla. <laughs> Nissan. Toyota. <laughs> Toyota. <laughs> Name three local names. Nana Jimfua, Mami Sewa, Nana Ya. <laughs> this is a cheat. So it's been another wonderful episode on the table of men's show. We are still shooting at Tuntum Studios located in Taipa. So we'll catch you same time next week. Bye bye.